you can see the aurora in certain wavelengths, even from Earth. Hubble sees the ultraviolet aurora. What, what's new is that we're up close with Cassini, and that enables us to see details that we've never seen before. Cassini cameras are using visible light, so this is the first time we've got uh, really nice images in visible light. I saw those, uh, those auroras shimmering and changing with time, sort of flickering, and uh, I, I, just, uh, I just liked the action. I thought, I thought it was beautiful. We're always looking for similarities between planets, especially things that we can compare with Earth. In fact, the auroras on Saturn have a lot of similarities to the auroras on Earth. Both on Earth and on Saturn, you have charged particles from outer space crashing into the upper atmosphere and causing it to glow. The magnetic field guides the particles into the high latitudes. So there's northern lights and southern lights, and they're both near the poles on Earth, and that's also true on Saturn. It's near the poles that the magnetic field guides the particles into the atmosphere. I'm, I'm a weatherman. I, I, like, uh, I like weather at all altitudes, from uh, hurricanes near the ground to uh, the weather of the top of the atmosphere. The vacuum of space has weather changing conditions. We're learning about space weather. <laughs>